everyone, welcome to a new video with Mano Exploring. This is our first video as a married couple, so it has to be about our honeymoon year in Maldives. Maldives was the perfect choice for us as it's only 3 hours away from Mumbai in India where we were for our wedding. And we had to go to a tropical paradise and Maldives was on top of that list. We are staying at the Lakshtar Resort located in the South Area Toll part of Maldives and it's the third day here, our last night and we've been having a lot of fun so far. As you can clearly see from the tan on our face and some sunburn on some skin. That's right. <laughs> in this video, we'll not only show you our four day, three night experience at this resort but also how we did it for free. So stay tuned for that towards the end of the video but first, let's give you a room tour. Welcome to our water villa. For couples like us, this resort has three options. Water villa, romantic water villa with the pool and the beach villa. Let's start the room tour. Right this way, we have the closet where we have stored away all our luggage. One of the best part about the villa is this glass floor from which a while ago we were seeing different fishes. Over here, when we arrived, there was a bottle of champagne and some fruits waiting for us. That was a perfect way for us to kick off our first honeymoon evening. Here is a quick workspace which helps us charge all our devices at night. In the middle of the room, we have this super comfortable king size bed. It was very difficult to wake up early every morning, but we somehow did. And it faces this million dollar view. If you are wondering what the other half is, it's the entire bathroom area. Starting off with this super romantic bathtub that was specially prepared by the staff as it's our last evening in the resort. Over here we have the double vanity for his and her. Over here we have the shower area with the rain shower and my favourite part is that you can see the water from down here. And next to the shower we have the toilet area and it comes with a bidet. And over here is my makeup station where I've been getting ready every morning and evening. Let's go out now. This is our personal deck with direct access to the water. Let's start off with this super cozy sitting area where we were hoping to enjoy our morning tea but we haven't gotten a chance to do that yet, hopefully tomorrow. Yesterday we enjoyed the sunset sitting on this net. I was initially very skeptical about it but it seems to be truly sturdy, I promise. Another great area to enjoy your coffee or just simply lounge looking into the water. But if you're feeling a little adventurous, you can go down these steps and take a quick swim in the water. I don't think I'm gonna do that because it's very slippery on the last four steps. Also, it doesn't look as clean as it was at the beach area out there. So this is our wonderful water villa, our home since the past three nights and now it's time to show you what we've been doing since day one. Let's go. Once we landed at the Valana International Airport in the Maldives, our staff of the Luxstar Resort greeted and escorted us to the resort's dedicated booth. After confirming our reservation, he helped us check in at the Trans Maldivian Airways counter and got us our boarding passes for the seaplane ride. A shuttle drove us to the seaplane terminal where we were first escorted to a fantastic lounge with stylish and comfy seating and lots of treats to savor for free. Our names were called for the next flight within 5 minutes, so we grabbed a few snacks and made our way to the waiting room. The seaplane is the only way to reach the resort costing around $500 return per person. This was our first seaplane ride, so we were super excited to enjoy the views from above. Go 
coffee. Thank you. Good afternoon, welcome. welcome. This is Guyana. Welcome. And Mr. Sunkist. Sunkist, that's me. Sunkist. This is Shai. Shaitra. We go from beginning to the island and until the very end. It's the one like behind us. Have a shuttle. You can also run bicycle, which is five dollar a day for a bike. So <laughs> here the reception, oh, we yeah. go to Kaffa Lux. Kaffa Lux is really very, very nice coffee because we do coffee roasting here on the right. island. Mm -hmm. And in the morning, six until ten thirty, it will be complimentary for all the day. But other coffee is the best. Like. They're on the beach. We got water sports, diving center, and Lagoon Bar, one of the places for lunch. A real fun box. And it's actually water. You can coffee oh, wow. everywhere in the world. This is our little shop. So many beach items, a lot of nice beach wear, you know, sunscreen, something is a must here. Definitely. So, Alegria, Italian restaurant. Mm -hmm. So, see, we have for breakfast two different restaurants. This is our spa. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Best, beautiful spa. And as a honeymooners, you will have half an hour massage complimentary. Oh, nice. Of course, if you know you love massage and you already know you would like to enjoy more, yes. you can upgrade it. Like, you can book like additional half an hour tragical and have it after like one hour together. Oh. Three of wishes, special magical tree. We believe that all the wishes come true here. Our dedicated and helpful host Elena not only checked us in and gave us a tour of the property on the way to our villa, but also kept us up to date with daily activities on WhatsApp and made dining reservations for us. Oh, this is pretty. Nice. A last minute slot was available at the spa, so we redeemed our included 30 minutes massage in the honeymoon package and upgraded it to one full hour. It is good for detoxifying for the body. Uh, distress body oil, it has chamomile and cedar wood. It is good for reducing the muscle tension, stiff muscle, energizing citrus and lemon. It is good for recover the muscle. Are you excited? <laughs> yes, I am. It's beautiful out there. That was a much needed relaxing spa massage. I think it was the perfect way to just de-stress ourselves, relax and enjoy the rest of the days that we have in this beautiful property. We had an amazing time at the Lakshmi Spa with our massage, uh, with that view of the sunset and the tea. Uh, after that, we are now heading back to our room. Uh, but instead of walking from the middle, we thought, why not walk on the white sand beach? And it's absolutely stunning out here as well on this side of the island. Sankesh, what are your thoughts about this beautiful sunset? It's mind blowing. I'm lacking words in my vocabulary to fit this in a sentence. Pop open the champagne and kick off the night. Our first night in Maldives. Let's do this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Even when you feel low, you can still go. Yes. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no man, I still go. Go, 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 go. So we are at Beach Rouge for dinner and we are glad we came here wearing white because it is white party tonight over here.
After watching nurse sharks in all their glory from Beach Rouge and playing a round of ping pong while waiting for our shuttle, we returned to our room and called it a night. But before we show you anything further, now it's time to address the most burning question. How did we get a free stay at the Luxstar Resort? Short answer, using miles and points. All of this might get overwhelming for you if you're pretty new to miles, points and credit cards, but let us break that down for you. Miles and points are what you earn when you spend on your credit cards. Having the right cards in your wallet is essential to rack up enough points and turn them into free travel. We all know that traveling to Maldives can be a big splurge. So we planned all of this a year in advance and took the necessary steps to rack up the points to get this free stay at the water villa. So let us break it down for you in the following steps. Step 1. Sign up for the Capital One Venture X credit card. If you sign up for this credit card right now, you'll get 75,000 miles if you spend $4,000 in the next three months. You can add up to four authorized users for free. That means this is ideal for families or couples to reach the minimum spend faster. When we signed up, a different offer was going on that got us 100,000 miles upon minimum spending. So keep in mind that in the future, the offer could change, but right now it's 75,000 miles. The card costs $395 in annual fees, but the benefits associated with it, such as the $300 travel credit, lounge access, global entry credit, and much more make it totally worth it. Step two, earn Capital One miles. This is a good all-round account for spending on different categories and still earning a high 2x miles on every transaction. That means if you and your authorized users spend $1,000 in a month, you will get 2,000 miles in your next statement. Most of our expenses before the honeymoon went on this card, allowing us to build a good number of points over time. Another way to earn miles is by booking travel through the Capital One Travel Portal, which earns 10x points when you book hotels and 5x points when you book flights. We did that for many trips as the portal offered competitive pricing and accelerated our miles earnings. Referring this card to your friends and family is another great way to speed up your earnings. This card offers you 25,000 miles for each referral up to 4 referrals yearly. That means you can earn up to 100,000 points by simply referring 4 other users to sign up for it. So following the first two steps, we earned a lot of miles and now we'll tell you what did we do to use those miles to book our Maldives stay. Step 3. Book travel with Capital One Premier Collection. Capital One launched its Premier Collection recently and as a Venture X card holder, you get access to book some superb hotels and the dreamy Luxstar was listed on it. A complimentary breakfast, a $100 resort credit and many other benefits are included if you book a Premier Collection hotel. The price of the stay with all its perks seem to be a much better deal than any other travel website. The three-night water villa stay was priced at around $2,700 and would have costed 270,000 miles at a one cent per mile value. But we did not redeem all those miles while making this reservation. Remember we mentioned that you can earn up to 10x miles when you book hotels through their travel portal? So instead, we used the same card to pay for the reservation that earned us 10x miles, which is 27,000 miles. And since this transaction qualifies as a travel expense, we got the $300 travel credit back on the card. Now wait, you must be wondering that the point of the video was to not pay for the stay. Then why did we just tell you to do that? Because there's one last step remaining. Step four, that is cover travel purchases. Here's the best part. You can use your miles to cover travel purchases paid with your VentureX in the past 90 days. It means any travel expenses can be erased and refunded back to your credit card using miles. But isn't that the same as redeeming them while booking? Nope, it's not. The miles that you earned while making this reservation do not get deducted when you are covering a travel purchase. 
That means the additional 27,000 miles that we earned can simply be applied to cover the same purchase. So then the math really is that it costs us 270,000 minus 27,000 miles. That is 243,000 miles. Mm -hmm. Voila. For advanced miles and points folks out there, the redemption rate could have been 1 cents per mile, but now it's 1.11 cents per mile because that's $2,700 divided by 243,000 miles. And you also get a $300 travel credit back. VentureX miles transfer to a variety of travel partners, which is a topic for another time, but some could argue that we could have gotten a higher redemption rate if we would have transferred those miles to another partner and got something like a business class flight. It's tempting to hold miles and points and wait for a better time to maximize their value. But remember, miles and points devalue over time and are uninvestable. So, with no big plans after the mall leaves, we couldn't have done any better. Luxury resorts like the Luxstar do not offer any co-branded credit cards. So, if you want to stay at one of their overwater villas for free, this could be one of the best ways to do so. While this strategy helped us get a free stay and a lot of other perks such as complimentary breakfast and $100 resort credit, we still had to pay for the seaplane ride and other meals and activities. If you are in the US and would like to apply for this Capital One Venture X card for all its amazing perks, use the link in the description below. And this brings us to the end of our part 1 Maldives video. Stay tuned for part 2 where you'll see us enjoy the amazing amenities of the Luxstar Resort. Till then, keep exploring! The most burning video? How did we book a honeymoon? Most burning video. <laughs> most burning question? How Can your hand go? Because VentureX is here. <laughs> <laughs> Another way to earn points? No, not points. That's why it's messing with me. It's miles. Miles and points. Sorry. <laughs> I was focusing on my expressions. So camera conscious. So, so far, following the first two steps, we earned a lot of moil. miles. Moils. Not moils. The price of this stay. Is there? I knew it. I knew it. Is there she anyone? knows it. 10x points on that transaction. On miles. the reservation. Miles. 10x miles on that reservation. And earned 10x points. Nahi miles. Sorry. 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 I got this, I got you this. You got this, I know you got this. You got it better than me, I'm pretty sure about that. Let me finish this now, then you go with whatever. It's okay.